the supremely pure transcendental holy place, Imli Tala. Once when Rasa Lila was taking place here, Radhika became Iman and she left the Rasa Lila and she went across to where we were a few days ago, Man Sarova. And see, Krishna was searching for her everywhere. Finally, see, Krishna came and unable to find Radhika, he sat down beneath this tamarind tree. Imli Tala means tamarind tree. And Sri Krishna, he became completely absorbed in remembering Shimati Radhika. Alas, alas! She became offended with me. Krishna was re full of remorse. I have made an offense and now Radhika became angry and has left me. Oh Radhika, without you, what's the use of all my cows? Oh Radhika, без тебя зачем мне нужны все мои коровы? Oh, what even is the use of my life without you? Без тебя мне не нужна даже моя жизнь. So Krishna was already thinking what he'll say to Radhika when they meet. Gradually, gradually, he became more absorbed. And her long black eyebrows, when she's frowning, it's like a row of bumblebees landing on a lotus flower. And Krishna became more and more deeply absorbed in remembering Radhika. Until he completely forgot about himself. And see Krishna assumed the golden complexion of Shimati Radhika. And for a moment, he could experience something of her mood. And how she was crying in separation from him. Just for a moment. And Krishna felt, oh, what was that? Such a beautiful love. Such a 
sweetness in Krishna. Такая сладость в Кришне. And such a happiness also. What the happiness is in tasting my sweetness. И такое счастье, какое счастье испытывает Радика вкушая мое счастье, вкушая мое сладость. Кришне Рамадури Кришне Упаджайло. But because Krishna cannot, Krishna's sweetness is so powerful that it awakens greed even in, in himself. But because he cannot taste it completely, he feels uh, discouraged and disappointed. Сладость Кришна настолько велика, что ему самому становится интересно, что он сам привлекается своей сладостью, но из-за того, что он ее вкусить до конца не может, то он чувствует такую как свою неспособность, и его это обескураживает, расстраивает, и он так теряет настроение всякое. It was here that Sri Krishna got the inspiration. Oh, I want to experience myself in the bar. Being in the bar of Radhika. Именно здесь же Кришна получил настроение того, что он хотел вкусить свою собственную сладость глазами Радики. So, about four and a half thousand years later. Порядка четырех с половиной тысяч лет. Sri Krishna appeared in Navadvip Dam with the sentiment and complexion of Shrimati Radhika. Sri Krishna явился в Шинавадвип Даме, украшенный настроением и цветом тела Шримати Радики. And when he came on Parikrama to Braja, he used to stay, actually not far from where we are staying, that is the village of Batro. Because his servant Balabhadra Bhattacharya used to do bhiksha and beg from some of the bridge buses there some ingredients to prepare uh, prasadam for Mahaprabhu. So this side of Brindav was completely forest. There was no one to beg any alms from. So he stayed there. Эта сторона Бриндавана, она была полностью заросшей, просто были сплошные джунгли, сплошной лес. Поэтому бикши они собирали там, на той стороне. And every day from there, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to come here in the morning and sit beneath this tamarind tree and chant his japa from early in the morning till about noon time. Но каждое утро Шичитани Махаправу приходил сюда и до полудня воспевал здесь жабу под этим тамариндовым деревом и млеталой. So Шичитани Махаправу is eternally here chanting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. И Махаправу вечно здесь воспевает Харинам. And fulfilling that desire that he had four and a half thousand years before when he was sitting beneath the same tree. И исполняет те самые желания, которые уже присутствовали в его сердце, когда он сидел четыре с половиной тысячи лет назад под этим самым деревом, как Кришна. It was here that one Rajput, a member of the royal family named Krishnadas, came here and Mahapu gave mercy to him. Сюда один Rajput, член королевской семьи, прибыл и Махапрабху благословил его милостью. And also when he was here one day, his servant who came with him from Puri, Malabhadra Bhattacharya, said, Oh Mahaprabhu, the local bridge buses are saying that very nearby in the Kaliyadaha, Kaliyadaha at night, Krishna is now appearing and dancing on the head of Kali at night. I want to go and see myself. И здесь, в этом же самом месте, Балабадра Батачари, слуга Чайтани Махапрабху, который прибыл с ним из Жиганка Пури во Вриндаван, он ему сказал, ты знаешь, местные жители рассказали, что на Кали Адахе появился Кали, и он пугает людей ночами. So Mahaprabhu just... He said, Krishna is not appearing in Kali Yuga. И он сказал, Кришна... Не отвлекайте меня, пожалуйста. Кришна не является в Кали Югу. Before the eyes of the mass, the general mass of people. Перед глазами обычных людей. The common people, they have no way to see Krishna except for by doing bhajan. Обычные люди никоим образом не смогут увидеть Шри Кришну за исключением тех людей, которые будут совершать бхажан. So then after some time, some pilgrims, they came here to Mahaprabhu. Через какое-то время паломники прибыли к Махапрабху. And they said, oh, we heard that Krishna is dancing at night in the Kaliyadaha. 
А, все неправильно я сказала, не Кали, а что сам Кришна танцует на Кали Адахе. Типа, умники сказали, вы слышали, что тут Кришна танцует э, на Кали Адахе в Скопе. So we went there. Вы туда ходили? Кришна танцует, он на Кали Адахе. I'm sorry. Кришна просто, все, я прошу прощения, Кришна просто танцует на головах Кали, на Кали Адахе. So, those pilgrims told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we went there and we were looking and there was one uh, boatman, one fisherman was out in his boat at night and he had a, a lantern on a stick and everyone was looking and think, oh, it's Krishna dancing there at night. But it was just a boatman with a lantern on a stick. So Mahaprabhu said, now Balabhadra Bhattacharya understood, you see, that Krishna is not going to appear before the eyes of ordinary people in this Kali Yuga. But Mahaprabhu gave his mercy to those pilgrims. And they said, but we are seeing that you are Krishna who is appearing in this Kali Yuga. But Mahaprabhu was very humble and he did not he did not like to manifest that. But they by his mercy they realized, yes, you cannot see Krishna in Kali Yuga, but Krishna has come in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Sila Rupa Goswami Pad has given a benediction. May the golden sun of Sachi appear in the dark and illuminate the dark cave of your heart. So how will that be possible? In Srimad Bhagavatam he said, Krishna Varnam Tusha Krishnam those who are intelligent in Kali Yuga, they will worship Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through the Yajna called Harinam Sankirtan. So if you are intelligent, then every day you engage in a very loud Harinam Sankirtan with Vaishnavas. And by worshipping Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through Sankirtan Yajna, then he will manifest his beautiful golden form in your heart. Namo Mahabhadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauru Chushe Namaha And Mahaprabhu then will give you the Vishuddha Nam, pure Nam. And then that Shuddha Nam will manifest all the sweet pastimes of Radha and Krishna. This is our process. Thank you.